All right, so today is uh, day seven, and this morning Rich is sanding um, the fairing that we did yesterday, and one side of the boat uh, went on a little thicker, so we're going to let that cure for a little bit longer, and he's sanding the other side, so there really wasn't anything for me to do on the boat, so I came down to the workshop, and I am trying to get the rust off of all the stanchion and the bases. Initially what we did is I soaked them in um, calcium lime rust remover, CLR, which I've got here somewhere. And it kind of worked. It didn't work great. It did not get all the rust off for sure. And we soaked it for a long time, hours. Uh, my next thing to try is something I've used before. I've used it on our boat, totally works. I don't know what's in it. I guess I could look it up, but um, it's the stuff called Spotless Stainless, and that's this one. It's easy to use on the boat. Um, the only only hang up is you have to make sure that it doesn't dry out. So on the boat, what I do is I put this on. It's just a thin, I don't know if you can see that, like white liquid, and I just use this little chip brush. And on the boat, what I do is I have this roll of saran, it's like saran wrap, and I'll paint it on the stanchions and anything that's the cleats and the, everything that's metal, and I will wrap it. And then that will keep it wet, basically, until I'm ready to rinse it off. But down here at the shed, um, I'm in the shade, and there's no wind, and I don't think I'm gonna have to use that. Uh, what I've done so far is I put it on all of these uh, stanchion bases and the brackets that go on the um, bulwarks. So right there. And it's kind of hard to see. Um, and I, I'm not sure if I have a before photo, but I can tell you the rust is totally coming off. I like it because you, you don't scrub it, you just let it sit. And then you go about doing other things and then you rinse it off. So I'm gonna let this stuff sit on here for about a half an hour. It's been about 20 minutes so far. And then I'm gonna do the, uh, we have a bunch of other stainless, or uh, stainless steel, like the cleats, and the other, um, the actual stanchions, the posts. There is some rust, like up here, just a little bit. You can see in there, there's some. That one is pretty rusty right there. And so I'm going to clean those up too. So I just put on a thin layer on this piece right here. And I just wanted to show some of the rust. Uh, you can kind of see it right there. And right there. It's actually a crack right there. Pretty good sized crack in that stanchion. And then going up, there's you can see some of the rust up there as well. The morning, uh, Sunday, June fourth. Uh, it's about nine o'clock in the morning, and we're getting ready to sand once again. So we uh, put a good solid layer of fairing um, down all over the deck, and then we sanded it. And we definitely have some uneven spots that we need to fair again. So we yesterday we put on another layer. So I definitely need to sand that smooth and possibly do some more fairing. So there's a lot of fairing involved. So we were hoping to be at the point we were hoping to be at the point of painting by today, at least the prime coat. But that's not gonna happen. So we're behind. So this is probably going to take um, the rest of this week and then several more weekends. We might do like one coat a weekend because by the time you mask everything, it's late in the day, then you can maybe get one coat on, then it's got a cure. So yeah, it's going to be, I'm hoping by July 4th, we're done.
So today is day 11, and we got three coats of fairing on here. We've stripped all the paint off, fared in all the decks multiple times. I was sanding the third coat yesterday and still found a couple of little low spots here by the old chain plate, one of the old chain plate sockets, uh, up here where we scarfed in the uh, deck repair, where we chain, uh, repaired the deck coring all the way up the front and a little bit around this stanchion base. So I'm going to sand this thing, uh, sand it all down first thing this morning. We're going to wash the boat, scrub it with scotch brights to remove any amine blush, dry everything off, mask the hell out of all the wood and everything else we don't want to get painted, and then we're going to apply the, uh, this afternoon we're going to apply the uh, two-part uh, epoxy prime coat, Interlux epoxy prime coat. We're going to roll the prime coat, uh, it's a high build primer, it kind of fills in any scratches and imperfections, little minor details, and uh, see what it looks like. That'll need to be sanded after it cures, and then a second coat. Hopefully, was it day Tuesday? Hopefully Wednesday, we'll get the second coat of epoxy primer on everything we've fared in and sanded and fared and sanded and fared and sanded. And fared and sanded.